Hello friends, welcome back to our channel and in this video I am going to demonstrate you one of the easiest way to download IMD data sets such as rainfall and temperature in NetCDF for CSV form. So before getting into this video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates. So let's get started. First open a browser and go to the website called IMD web which I have pasted in the description. So once you come to this particular website, you will get an option to either download or perform certain analysis. So if you click on analysis, there will be like so many uh, analysis that will be present over there to identify rainy days, to identify the heavy precipitation uh, day and like coolest night, hottest night, uh, hottest day. And all these informations will be present over here. But like based on our requirements, we can actually like perform all these analysis in either Python or R because like there will be certain limitations like this works only on yearly basis so based on our requirements we can actually like uh, write our own code in either r or python so i don't recommend you to perform any analysis over here unless like if it is a small analysis so if you need to download it just go to download option select what type of variable is required either either you can uh, choose rainfall maximum temperature minimum temperature or even like you can look for real-time data sets also that those also will be available but in my case i'm just going with rainfall data sets and that are not real time i'm just going to download the data sets uh, from first jan 2022 maybe 2022 first jan 31st december 2022 that is what like i'm going to uh, look for maybe 2021 to 2022 okay so I exactly pick one year of data set so now the third option will be like select the type of download either you need a point or a polygon or a geojson so if you need a point you can click on point it will download you as a csv it will hold all the rainfall information for that particular location around you have to just you can click on this point and you can place a marker over here just a point will be selected if you need for a polygon, then you have to select polygon where the data sets will be downloaded in NetCDF format, which we can process in either Python or R. And if you select on a polygon, you can use the polygon and other options to draw a polygon on top of it, and then you can download it. So this is one option. And you can, if you have your own study area, for example, like a shapefile over here like this, you can simply right click on the layer, open in QGIS, right click on the layer, go to save features as, you will find an a format called GeoJSON. You can select it, save where the uh, file need to be saved. Make sure the projection is 4326, and then you can click OK and you can save it. And if you just click on it, you can upload the file also. That is also one way through which you can download it. In this particular example, I'm just going with the polygon, which I actually drawn over here. And now, just don't have to do anything, either point polygon or a shape file or like geojson file once you upload it you can just click on download net cdf it will process it and it will download the net cdf file only for your study area if you open it in your qgis you can see that you will get this particular pop-up you can just select uh you are going to look for this rainfall data only so rainfall data will be like uh, listed over there if you see here, the rainfall data sets from 1 1 2021 to 365th day, that is 364 days, like uh, all the data sets will be available over here. Band 1 will be like the first date that you have picked up, and then band 365 will be the last date. So that is 31st December. So this is how the data will be like actually provided to you. You can actually like uh, zoom to the layer and check this is the data sets that is present. I have, this is Vedor and I have downloaded for like nearly Salem. And if you see the resolution of these particular uh, pixels, it will be like uh, 0.25 degree better data. As for, since it is, uh, um, what you can see, since this is, um, precipitation data sets it will be 0.25 in case if it is your uh, temperature data set it will be actually one degree greater you can see here it is 0.25 degree greater in case if it is temperature it will be one degree greater data 
And this is how you can easily download your data set and perform further analysis. And in case if you need any video uh, to per, uh, know how to perf like analyze all these data sets, like I have downloaded my MC file, but how I can perform all, like how I can actually like extract the information and how I can do further analysis, I'll actually like drop draft a video on the same and I'll actually like uh, uh, post the link in the description which you can uh, use for uh, analyzing these data sets and make sure to subscribe so that like you get a notification once the video is posted. Thank you.